Looks like we're a little late. <laughs> hey, Nate. Check it out. It's another sigil. Oh my god. What? It's them. Elena, these are the pirate captains that founded Libertalia. What the hell happened here? Well, I'm no forensics expert, but I would say... Bad drinks? Apparently. So what was this? Some kind of wealthy pirate suicide cult? <laughs> yeah, not likely. Not these guys. On behalf of Lord Avery, I invite you to my manor at sundown tomorrow. The time has come to abandon our animosities and reunite under the banner of God and liberty. Signed, Thomas II. What do you bet? Thomas II, Henry Avery. Looks like our hosts didn't stick around to clean up their mess. Well, that wasn't very gracious of them. Okay, so... So these guys sparked a full-scale revolt when they claimed the treasure for themselves. Now, they took care of the colonists, but then they had to deal with each other. And I'm guessing things got pretty messy. So, Avery and Two invite them up here to, um... Uh, what was it, uh... Abandon our animosities. Abandon the animosities. Avery makes a grand toast. For God and liberty! Arg, ahoy, mateys, all that. <laughs> and they all take a swig. Except these two. And just like that, all the treasure of Libertalia becomes the sole possession of two men. <laughs> these are some of history's greatest pirates. And they all perished in an instant, at this very table. Yeah. I'm, I'm sorry, I, uh... I'm sorry. It's okay. So, since our missing hosts aren't here at Two's Manor... We should head over to Avery's. Yeah. Let's go. Posterity. Up here, slowly. Right behind you. Be careful. Oh, oh. Ah! Okay? I'm okay. I got it. I'll meet you up top.
Nate, that shoreline truck is still there. Yeah, I see it. Keep your eyes peeled, huh? I guess the poison is mightier than the cannon. What? You know, because he ended up poisoning... Yeah, that was bad. Sorry? Yeah, pretty bad. Officially inside Henry Avery's house. So why didn't he kill Thomas, too? Was he, like, his right-hand man? Yeah, that's exactly what he was. <laughs> Can you imagine taking orders from a paranoid psychopath? This sounds like my first job. <laughs> what, the producer on your TV show? No, my manager from Macho Nacho. You worked at a Macho Nacho? It was a high school job. Did you wear one of those hats? The point is, my boss was a paranoid psychopath. He was the manager at a Macho Nacho. Just watch it, okay? Look, Shoreline barricaded the front door. And left a bunch of muddy footprints behind. Let's see where they went. So, where are all the Shoreline guys? I know, right? I expected to see someone by now. Yeah, it's like they all have been vanished. You don't suppose they're pirate ghosts. Don't even joke about that. Bingo. Hello. Huh. 
more footprints. Footprints go through this door. <clears throat> Crap, it's blocked from the other side. Why bother barricading their path unless... They found something. All right, help me push this open. Yeah. Just waiting to ambush us. Yeah. All right, let's get that door open. Open. See what they didn't want us to find. Okay, here we go. You ready? Oh, hello there. What is it? It's a letter. Signed by Avery. Really? Well, read it. My loyal subjects, as the sun sets on our glorious paradise, we must endeavor to preserve its riches. The traitorous, too, knows our secrets, so we must act quickly. Destroy the dam, cleanse New Devon. Here we go. Uh-huh. And move my treasure through the passage to my ship. Two and Avery turned on each other. Are you really surprised? I guess not. 